This is 3.5 number 16. It says find all zeros, real and non-real, of this function. We have f of x equals 4x to the fourth plus 12x cubed minus 38x squared plus 24x plus 70. And uh, first off, we can look for our p's, which are the factors of the constant. And that's going to be quite a long list. It's uh, plus or minus 1, plus or minus 2, plus or minus 5, plus or minus 7, plus or minus 10, plus or minus 14, plus or minus 35, plus or minus 70. Q's are the factors of the leading coefficient. That, that's plus or minus 1, plus or minus 2, and plus or minus 4. And then our P over Q's is, that's, you know, look at all these different combinations. Quite a bit here. This is a huge list. Plus or minus 1, plus or minus 2, plus or minus 5, plus or minus 7, plus or minus 10, plus or minus 14, plus or minus 35, plus or minus 70. Keeps on going, though. 70, um, plus or minus one half, plus or minus one fourth, plus or minus five halves, plus or minus five fourths, plus or minus seven halves, plus or minus seven fourths, plus or minus 35 halves, plus or minus 35 fourths. I believe that covers everything. And it looks like a lot, and guess what? We don't have to use all those. In fact, it's, it goes pretty quickly. If we start off with, for example, negative five, and we have our four, our 12, our negative 38, our 24, and our 70. So it's four, negative five times four is negative 20. We get a negative eight, we get a positive 40, I get a 2, I get a negative 10, that's a 14, then I get a negative 70, so that's a 0. Hey, look, negative 5 is a 0. And let's try negative 1 on those results. 0, 4, negative 4, negative 12, then uh, 12, we get a 14, and then negative 14, and we get a 0. And so what we have left is this 4 x squared minus 12x uh, plus 14 and technically then it's times x minus negative 5 times x minus negative 1 so it's really a 4x squared minus 12x plus 14 times x plus 5 times x minus 1 or plus 1 I realize that's not really what we're asked to do but we have this quadratic we can use a quadratic formula for. So if we treated 4x squared minus 12x plus 14, set that equal to 0, we can use the quadratic formula now. I know it wasn't set to equal to 0 in the beginning, but we're trying to find 0, so it's fair to do that. Quadratic formula. So we'd have x equals negative, remember negative b, plus or minus square root of b squared minus 4ac all over 2a. So it's negative of negative 12 plus or minus the square root of negative 12 squared minus 4 times 4 times 14 all over 2 times 4. And this is going to be 12 plus or minus the square root of negative 80 all over 8, which is 12 plus or minus the square root c squared of 80, that's 16 times 5. So if I pull that negative out, that would be square root of 8, 16 is 4. So 4i times the square root of 5 all over 8. And so this can be broken down. If you reduce that out, think of it as 12 eighths plus or minus 4i root 5 eighths. So that's going to be 3 halves plus or minus i root 5 over 2. So our zeros are negative 5, negative 1, 3 halves plus i root 5 over 2, and 3 halves minus i root 5 over 2. Those are your zeros.